Hi everyone, and welcome to the Dodo Bird Nerd. It's me, the Dodo Bird Nerd, and in today's drawing video, I'm going to be drawing the Bramble K. Malomus. So, without any further ado, let's roll the intro, and let's get started. So the reason I decided to draw the Bramble K. Malomus for this month's drawing video is because I believe around two years ago, around this time, is when it was declared extinct. So I thought it made sense to do it as basically like the anniversary of it being declared extinct because, you know, this is all about drawing extinct animals, so I thought that made sense to do. So I have my reference image all pulled up, so let's get started on drawing. Try to get its body first. Okay. Okie dokie. Mm hmm. So I'm going to change that a bit for my reference. Oh, right, yeah, I forgot I made the uh, eraser gigantic. Um, yeah, so I think those are pretty good legs. Oh, let's go up and get the head. And do that a bit. There. Okay. And loop around. Sorry for the quick cut there. Something popped up on my computer, so I had to close it down real quick. Um, its face is a bit shorter. Okay, I'm just gonna shrink that because that's way too big. Let's go with something reasonable. Okay. Uh-huh. Let's just slim. Okay, now it's too small. Uh, there. Go. Okay, we're making a very large Malomus. Uh-huh. Then the tail. I'm going to go for slightly red-brown. There. That is way too big. Okay. There's little Loma's tail. Work on shrinking it a bit, but for now that's good. Zoom in a bit to work a bit more on the face of 
this. I need the ear. Next. Put that right in there. There we go. And then a bit darker. The surrounding the ear. And then we have to put in an ear back here. Um, yeah. And then I'm going to use the same color for nose. Um, then I need to get the eye in. Try to shrink the brush size just a bit, zoom in a bit more, and get in an eye. See, it appears that its eye was just a solid black, so I think I'm going to do that, but I'm going to give it a little glint to fit with the rest of my drawings. Do that, I'm going to do that, I'm going to go right here. There we go. Okay, then we'll go over here. Wait. Are this like the exact same color? Oh, they're like just barely off. So that's not exactly ideal. I need a bit darker. There we go. So I don't need I need the brush. I need to make the brush a bit bigger. That's a bit too big. There we go. Distinguish the two. Sorry if you can hear my my chair. Um no, that's the wrong tool. Uh, okay, I think that's too big. I was just big because I was zoomed in. No, it's just generically very, very big. There we go. A bit more reasonable. And then again. Let me just try to just do that using a paint bucket. Nope, not gonna work. Um, it's right there. Get the ear. Okay. Now we just need to smooth in the this part and then a bit of highlights, smooth out the tail and just the outline in general. And we're pretty much good. This is gonna be a bit of a quicker drawing. to maybe do that. There we go. The ground. The leg. Then I, oh, sorry, I need to get the feet and the um, feet and the hands. So I will need to do that. Okay, so 
Now the inside is colored in. Okay, I now want to add in a bit of coloring. So I'm going to use our brush, just a bit of dark or fur, very subtly on. Let me try something else. Let me just make the brush a bit bigger. Make it a bit more subtle. And cover the same amount of area, but make it a bit more subtle. Okay. There we go. And then I want to do the same with a brown color. Really over a bit of a smaller area. There we go. Now let's smooth out some, smooth it out a bit. Starting with the tail. Smooth it out. In this case, it's more of a make it a bit more realistic by making it a bit thinner. Of a tail. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Now we need to just smooth out the rest of the body. And I might make the tail a bit longer. Just kind of, I want to see what it looks like. And we're all done. Move over a bit more. Move up. The face. Smooth it out. There. Okay. Move over to the upper back. Smooth it out. That's the wrong tool. Smooth it out a bit more. Okay, maybe that's too much. Subtle. Actually, add in a bit more. That's the wrong color for what I was trying to do there. There we go. Okay, let me zoom out. Okay, yeah, this kind of just looks like a rat, which, I mean, admittedly, it did kind of look like in real life. So... That isn't much of a stretch, really. Um, but I'm trying to draw Malomas, <laughs> but it is looking a bit more rat-like than I probably would have intended. But I mean, yeah, again, it looked fairly rat-like. Um in real life so I'm not at least changing much if that makes sense like it's still looking pretty much what it was like um before it went extinct looked fairly rat like then in fact what your name for it does include like calls it a rat instead of a bramble K Malomus. So that's way too big. Um so that makes a bit of sense. 
no, we're gonna go just for a traditional little foot. Then right in there. Okay, uh, no. Let's go. Hmm. It does look like it has five. Let me just redesign it to make it look a bit better with five. No. Um, hmm. I think it might just be because this is a bit too wide. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Then, wait. There we go. Erase this part. Here. And then redraw. In. No, wait. I'm only seeing part of the foot from the angle I'm at. So I can probably get away with a much more simple design, which I'm then going to actually carry over to this foot to make it a bit better looking. Slim that out a bit because I think I made it a bit too. Wide. And then fix that little mistake right there. Okay. Um, no longer get a tilt. Okay. I think we're approaching done. That was my thumb popping. I think we're approaching done. Actually, yeah, I think we are. Let's check. The tail's a bit longer than I currently have it. So let's just make the tail a bit longer. So, okay, and then let's um, do a little technique to give it whiskers. Ooh, right, I should probably make my brush a bit smaller in order to do that. And undo. So now I'm just going to use, just going to use my pen tool. So now, mm, oh, wrong. That was, no. Do that tool. Okay. And let's see. It looks like it has black whiskers, so we'll do do that accurately. Okay. Well, it does look a bit more rat-like than I initially thought it was going to. Uh, actually, no, there's one more thing I can do, which is um, make, uh, make it a bit uh, 
that's not intended. Which is actually brighten up this as the fur color is a bit lighter right through here. And then let's eraser, smooth that out a bit. Okay. Actually, does not appear to go that far. Only about halfway. And actually, it looks like the brown's a bit more wider widespread than I thought. Let's settle. Subtle hints of brown. There. I mean, I'm just gonna have mine a slightly different realm so that I like that back a bit more than having the brown more spread out. But I do wanna make that a bit more blended right through there. I'm going to fix the tail. Initially thought I was done, which is why there was a cut there. Um, then I realized I was not quite done yet. So I'm gonna quickly fix the thing I noticed. Okay. With that, with the tail fixed, that's gonna conclude the Bramble came alone with drawing. So what animal, what extinct animal do you wish me to do next in this series? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Bye!